Wait, you for real? You for real? June 6th is the last day. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm laughing, right? Because I posted on Instagram. I was like, Rumbleverse had to die, but KLC survived. <laughs> Dang it. Greetings. Welcome to Pineapple Barthazon. We hope you enjoy your stay. Let's see what's going on here at in, in uh, Knockout City. It's a it's a real person talking. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm the game director of Knockout City. We were hoping to pair this message with details about season nine, but it seems hold up. I gotta use the other camera. It's like the cat's out of the bag. So let's talk a bit about the overall state of the game as we get closer to the end of our second year. Velen Studios' roots are grounded in innovation. That's the goal of the company, to create innovative, fun new experiences for communities of players. Knockout City's development started with a small dev team, passionate about this wild idea of making a shooter with dodgeballs, focused on simple mechanics like throwing and catching that no engine could actually support over the internet, requiring us to make an entirely new one from scratch. The team has grown a lot since then. And looking back at the critical acclaim we had at launch, the millions of players, the billions of KOs, the dozens of exciting game modes, all the seasons of great content ranging from aliens invading the city to a game of cat and mouse between a criminal crew and the person chasing them. I feel immensely proud of Velen Studios and everything the Knockout City team has accomplished. After almost 20 years in the industry, this is honestly my favorite game I've ever worked on. And like many of you in our community, it's also one of my favorite games I've ever there played. There were a lot of people which playing I continue at one to do point. almost every night after work. These past two years of Knockout City being alive, talking to the community, and trying new things in the game has been an immensely rewarding experience, but also a tough one. I personally learned more about game development in the past two years than in the 10 before that. And the same goes for many of the people here at Bellin. However, one thing that we've continued to struggle with, even after going free to play, is retaining enough of the millions of new users coming in to keep the game active and sustainable. The truth is, it's been extremely difficult for our small studio to make the kind of changes necessary to bring back a larger audience in a game that's live and needs continuous support. If they don't mention it, that's because the game didn't start as free to play, bro. Oh my gosh, the game was $20 before they went free to play. That is exactly why a whole bunch of people left. It's that simple. That's EA's fault. Since they were partnered with EA, they had the game at $20 and then it was an extra 10 if you wanted the little deluxe bundle when the game first dropped, which I did get that. Yes, I most definitely got that. Because I was hyped when I played the beta on this game. That short is still on the channel. I was like, yo, I can't wait till this game comes out. I got it on the first day of launch. MS was $20. If it had started out free to play, it would have stayed relevant. They even had this dude Berlin make a, a, a sponsored video. You know, that's how I found out about this game was from his sponsored video. And it was on the last day of the beta. That's how I found out about Knockout City. I think he only played it like maybe once or t two more times after that sponsored video and that was it. Rumbleverse on the other hand, he kept playing it after his uh, sponsored video. So that's how you can tell he actually liked that game. Because he kept playing it way more after the, his sponsored video. So the time has come for Bell and Studios to take a step back, take a fresh approach, and do what we do best by innovating. After very careful consideration, and as you might have already heard, we're announcing that Season 9 will be Knockout City's final season. And shortly after, on June 6, 2023, the servers will be shut down and the live game will no longer be playable. This was an extremely difficult decision for us. We love Knockout City, and we've done nothing but eat, sleep, and breathe dodgeballs, ultimate throws, and deep space dispatches for years. We've been right there alongside our amazing community of players. From the heartwarming fan art to the deep theories on the lore, 
to the emergent techniques and strategies that made the I just saw the hold deep on theories on the lore. Hold on, look at look at Zay, y'all. Zay was in the chat earlier. Look at him in the knockout city video. <laughs> the emergent techniques and strategies that made their way to the top ranks of league play and the lightning I most definitely recognize so a majority of these names of but this allows us to take everything we've learned and use it to explore more innovative changes because they're like the pro players of the game and other new projects working on solving a lot of the challenges we're facing today in the live game anything could happen there and this isn't a promise that knockout city will be back but what I can promise is that you'll continue to see new and innovative games from Velen Studios that will surprise and delight players around the world. Despite this news, this is Knockout City, baby. So we're planning to go out with a massive bang. We've got a packed Season 9 plan, with all new content you've come to expect and more. Then, after Season 9, we'll have a two-week celebration we're calling Thanks for the KOs. It's not just an in-game event, it's a tribute to all of you, the fans, whether you've been here since Block Party or you picked up the game just last week. The celebration will be filled with surprises, giveaways, a big final tournament for our competitive brawlers, a player-hosted version of the game that you'll be able to play with your friends after the servers go offline, and lots more that we know Knockout City fans everywhere will love, both in and out of the game. While we're sad to be saying goodbye to Knockout City in a few months, as a studio, we're excited about going back into development on what could be next. But before all that, we've got an awesome season ahead of us that we're excited to share with you when the time is right. Season 9 is launching on February 28th with a new map, a new Brawl Pass, new events, new Deep Space Dispatches, and so much more for you and your crew to enjoy. We're still working on finishing it up, and we'll share a trailer soon. But trust me when I say that we've still got some fun surprises up our sleeves that you won't want to miss. Stay tuned for more details, and until then, keep brawling. And they still never made a theater mode. Oh my gosh. That's all I wanted, bro. I wanted to be able to make some clean edits with cinematics. RIP this game. I have been playing it since the block party. And I took a break off during season four. Because that mess got too boring for me. And then I came back season five. We'll see. We'll see if I end up joining that tournament too. Just just because who knows imagine actually winning it that would be kind of crazy this has been Jalen fries like uh, uh subscribe and comment too deuces <laughs> Jalen fries <laughs>